Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. If you're in media and entertainment or in digital content creation field, there is, of course, no shortage of rendering programs you can use to create glossy, photorealistic images using 3D models. But if your primary job is engineering or design, and you have no time or patience to master a complex rendering program, along with figuring out how to configure ray bounces, gamma setting, global illumination, and all the other nuances that come with a discipline, one of your options may be Keyshot, a rendering program that's as simple as drag and drop. Keyshot is now in version 2.2. It has changed quite a bit from its previous incarnation, HyperShot. One thing you'll notice is that when you import models, the import process works a lot faster and smoother. The move command is also a lot faster too, even compared to Keyshot 1.0 released last year. The thing that makes Keyshot well suited for CAD users is this. The developers have done quite a bit of work so that when you import a common CAD assembly like SolidWorks or Inventor or Solid Edge, you get the assembly structure in tech in the expendable model tree. Another improvement in this version, when you select a sub-assembly or an individual part, you get a yellow outline in the model that tells you where that part is that goes a long way to help you apply materials specifically to certain parts that you may know only by name or by part number but can't easily point to in a complex assembly model. In Keyshot, applying materials and setting environment is as easy as dragging and dropping them from the panels. Then you can adjust the brightness, rotation and other aspects of your environment using a series of slider bars. You can use the same kind of command in the camera tab to configure your angle and point of view and focus to your liking. Now, if a specific area of the scene is more important than the rest for you, you can use the region rendering function to put all your computing resources to tackle that little area first. Let me show you. In Keyshot 2.2, the software gives you the option to add labels. Essentially, that's projecting 2D images on 3D surfaces. This is in the Materials tab under the Edit function. Once you have loaded your image, you can pick its position, then use the slider bars to adjust its scale or move it along the plane. Now you're not limited to one label only, so you can apply two, three, or whichever number of labels that you feel you need to make your point. The good thing about this new function is, if after applying labels you want to apply texture to your material, you can still upload a 2D pattern to create your texture. In a previous version, you had to add your label by cheating, by adding it as texture. So that left you with no more option to add texture. I find that in this version, camera views are a lot easier to manage as well, especially with the default views available here. And you also have the depth of field function. This is especially useful if you want to create the illusion that because your camera is focused on one specific point, the rest of the object further away from the target is blurred. So here is without depth of field. Look at the crane's bending corner in the distance. And now here is with depth of field enabled. In this new release you can also easily center your geometry. So if your import or your experimentation with movements shift the object too far from the center of the scene, just hit center geometry. 
Keyshot is one of the few rendering programs I know that's simple enough that with little or no exposure to rendering, you can immediately start using it. It does a great job at importing commonly used CAD file formats with their structures in tech. Whereas its rivals like Bunkspeed Shot are exploring GPU-based rendering, Keyshot remains primarily a CPU-based rendering program. So take that hardware preference and set up into consideration. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, making a guest appearance as a label in Keyshot 2.2.